Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning and praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I want to thank God for this powerful opportunity just to come and share again with you the Word of God. I began a series on the promise of the Holy Spirit. And I've been talking on the, having intimacy with God. And yesterday, we were talking about abiding, abiding in the Lord, abiding in Jesus. And I said abiding is choosing to be available to Jesus who is always with us. When you abide, you're just saying, I'm available to him. I'm available to Jesus. I'm available to the Holy Spirit. And today, I want to read this scripture to us, a, a scripture that has really blessed my heart. Galatians chapter 2 and verses 20. As I talk about the importance of abiding in him, because if you know why you should abide in the Lord, you'll always be blessed of the Lord. The Bible says in Galatians chapter 2 and verses 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself to me. Praise the Lord. I want to speak to us this morning about the importance of abiding in the Lord. Abiding in the Lord is important because of two things that I will be sharing with you this morning before I pray together with you. The first importance of abiding with the Lord is because of the pressure within and without to live independently of Christ. We live a time when people want to live independently of Christ, which is not possible. I know that pressure is there within and without. People are saying, you can make it without Christ. Your family can make it without Christ. But I want to challenge you in Jesus' name that it is important for you to know that Abiding in Christ is very, very important. This is living by means of the flesh. When you want to live independently of Christ, God has many self-appointed hired servants who are living independently of Christ. And it's sad because to this kind of people, a time is coming when God will tell them, I never knew you. The purpose of redemption, child of God, is that we be his sons. Hallelujah. That is why God has saved us, that we may be his sons. And I challenge you this morning that when we abide in Christ, we will fight the pressure within and without to live independent of Christ. The second importance of abiding in the Lord is that we will be able to fight the pressure of others. You know, religion will lock you to systems which produce wax but cannot produce fruit. We are invited this morning to be yoked with Christ by the Holy Spirit. Jesus called those who were weary because they were yoked to the law. To himself, he's saying, guys, come to me all who are weary and heavy laden. Come and learn from me. Come and take my yoke because my yoke is easy. And I speak to you this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus did not offer these people law. Jesus offered them life. 
And this is what I'm speaking about. When you know the promise of the Spirit, you will know that intimacy with God through the Spirit brings us life. No wonder the Bible says in Romans chapter 15 and verses 18, For I will not dare to speak of any of those things which Christ has not accomplished through me. The man of God is saying, there are many things Christ has accomplished through him. And because of that, he's saying we'll only speak of the things that Christ has accomplished through him. And I want to challenge you in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray with you that abiding in Christ is very, very powerful because it will help you fight the pressure within and without. It will help you fight the pressure of others. I know there are people who are telling you, you can survive without the Lord. You can survive without Jesus. But I want to tell you, child of God, if you want to enjoy the intimacy, our Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you again this morning. The Lord, you're showing us the importance of abiding in Christ. I pray that my listeners, wherever they are, in Kenya, in Africa, in the entire globe, oh God, we realize without Jesus, we cannot do anything. Bless them this morning and allow them to see you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidham Eldoret TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoret. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoret. And our website is eldoret.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.